Don't allow society put you under pressure. Don't allow anybody put you under pressure to, to now make you take the wrong decision. Marriage still requires work, okay? Marriage is not a place where you enter and everything just becomes fine. Hi guys, today's video is about the wrong reasons to want to get married. And we'll be starting right now. Of my life, I will send you love every day. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. My name is Ijoma and I will be your relationship coach today. Okay, I am a Nigerian YouTuber based in Port Harcourt. Now, I know that lots of people are not interested in getting married. They don't care for marriage. They don't even want to think about it. But I also know that more people want to get married. A lot more people desire to get married. You know, and then if you're in the category of those people that desire to get married, I want to ask you this question. Have you asked yourself the reasons why you really want to get married? What are those reasons? What are, why do you want to get married? Okay? <laughs> what are those reasons why you want to get married? And I do hope that, you know, the reasons, the things I'm going to be mentioning in this video, that none of them is in your reason for wanting to get married. And in no particular order of importance, I'll give you what I call the top six wrong reasons for wanting to get married. And here they are. The first one is loneliness. Guys, loneliness is a broad topic, very wide topic. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just let you know that marriage is no cure for loneliness. A lot of people mistake loneliness for being alone. They are two different things, okay? You can be alone and not lonely. You're alone, you're happy, you're complete. While loneliness is being alone and feeling sad about it. That feeling of not being wanted, that empty feeling, and it also has to do with low self-esteem, your feeling that you're not wanted, people don't like you. That is why you can be in the midst of people and still be lonely. And because it is a state of mind, okay, it keeps you from connecting with the people that you are with. So it's like a mindset thing that you need to work on, okay? Because to bust your bubble, marriage is no cure for loneliness. You can be married and still be lonely. So it is, it is, it's an emotional state, while being alone is just a physical state. And like I said, you can be alone and not lonely, okay? But loneliness is deeper than being alone, and it's something you need to work on. And it should not be your reason for wanting to get married because it will definitely, marriage will definitely not cure that your loneliness, okay? So if you're always feeling lonely, I think you should seek help. Seek professional help. See a therapist, see a psychologist, you know, or work on yourself. Work on yourself with God's word and you will feel better. But don't think that when I get married, I will stop being lonely. No, no, nada. <laughs> All right, the second one is money. It would be a mistake for you to put money first among the reasons why you want to marry somebody. All right, so what happens when all the money is gone? Yes, I understand that every human being wants to be taken care of and we need money to get those material things that we want we need money you know to live the kind of life that we want to live i agree but money should not be you know your reason maybe you have looked at this person there's nothing else that you see in this person apart from the fact that he or she is swimming in money you will make the biggest mistake of your life because if you marry for that reason, I can tell you, even in the money, even in that pool of money, 
you will be sad. It's better to marry somebody that you, you feel connected to. There's a connection, you know? You understand what I mean? There's a connection. Rather than to marry someone that there's no connection, but because he has money, you married. No, money should not be top. Okay? If he has money, but there's a connection, he has the things you're looking for, or, you know, he looks like somebody that you can marry, beautiful. But if there's nothing else that you see in this person apart from money, then it is a very wrong reason to get married. Now, the third thing I want to say is physical beauty. Physical beauty. Now, I'm sure you are aware that because someone is beautiful physically does not mean that that person is beautiful on the inside and we all know that it is the inside that really really matters what comes out of a person is what matters and not the outlook not the physical outlook yes it is good for us to desire to marry mr tall dark and handsome it is good for us to for 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 the men to desire to marry that pretty lady hourglass shape she does what it is called. It is very good. Okay? But what happens when those things fade? What happens after the wife has given birth and her shape changes? She's no longer the hourglass shaped lady that you married. What happens when she, you know, when old age sets in, what happens? Beauty will definitely fade. Okay, so marrying because this person is beautiful is a wrong reason. Because, like I said, physical beauty does not equate spiritual beauty or internal beauty. What is more important is what is on the inside of the person. Somebody can be very beautiful physically, but ha, inside, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about. So let physical beauty alone not be your reason for wanting to marry someone. Number four, <laughs> everybody's doing it. My friends are all getting married. My colleagues are all getting married. Everyone is doing it. That is why I want to do it too. I don't want to feel left out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Please. Marry because you are ready to marry and not because everybody is doing it. Marry because you have seen that person you believe you can spend the rest of your life with and not because everybody is doing it. Everybody's calling is different though. Everybody's timing is different. Okay? So that they are doing it that should not make you want to do it. Uh, you're, you know that kind of, you know what I mean? So let that not be your reason for wanting to get married because everyone around you is getting married and you're feeling left out. Let me tell you something. That someone is married does not mean that person is better than you that are still single. Marriage does not mean the person is better. And that you're single does not mean that your life is not good. So wait for your time, like we would all say, God's time is the best. And that is why Igbo people give their children names like Oge Chuku, meaning God's time. So God's time is the best. Wait on God. Don't do anything because everybody around me is doing it. Then the fifth one is this. I want to leave home. My parents are driving me nuts. I cannot stand these old people anymore. Let me tell you something. One day, these people that you're feeling are driving you nuts, you'll start looking for them. You will start missing all those times you spent with them. So let it not be one of the reasons why you want to get married. You want to run away from home. A lot of people have done it and they are living to regret it. I'm telling you, don't go and make that mistake. Don't go and make that mistake. Endure whatever it is. And you can actually, if you are finished school, you are working, you can actually move out. You know, this particular point, I'm sure it's only people around our area that can relate because in the Western world, 
once you get up to a particular age, you're actually expected to move out of your parents' house. But for us here, over here in Nigeria, I don't know about the rest of Africa, but in Nigeria, your parents expect you to still stay with them until you get married. Unless you get a job outside the city where they live. Okay? So you can consider moving out. I know people that were living in the same city with their parents, but they moved to a different a, a place when they got a job. Okay, so you can actually consider doing that. So don't say, ah, these people are driving me nuts. That's why you can go and live alone until you get married. Don't make the choice because they are driving you nuts. There are, there are other options you can, you can look at when you feel that they are driving you nuts. You get what I mean? Then the sixth and the last one, but in no way the least important is, I am getting old. I am getting old. My biological clock is ticking. I'm getting old. Let me even ask you, are you aware that there's some people that will marry early and not have kids while someone would marry late in quotes because I don't know who actually determines the right age to marry, the age that is early or the age, age that is late. So someone could marry late and still have children like this while someone else that married quite early is still waiting on God for the foot of the womb. So that you're getting old should not be the reason for you to make that wrong decision. Don't make the, the wrong choice because you think you're getting old. Don't make that wrong choice. But I'm, I'm sure you know that marriage isn't even compulsory. You mustn't marry. You can decide to be single. Okay? But if you decide to be married, don't allow society put you under pressure. Don't allow anybody put you under pressure to, to now make you take the wrong decision and marry someone and just answer Mrs. this person because I am I'm now married. See, a lot of people don't still don't understand what marriage is. Marriage still requires work. Okay? Marriage is not a place where you enter and Everything just becomes fine. There are lots of responsibilities that come with marriage, okay? So maybe we'll talk about that in another video, all right? So I want to end this video here. I want to believe that you picked something from what I shared. But please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like the video. And if you have questions arising from what I discussed here today in this video, please, you can go to the comment section and ask your question. But if you want it to be a personal thing, you don't want everybody to see your question, please feel free to send me an email. My email address is always in the description area of my videos. So feel free to send your questions via my email address. And here is where we'll be ending today's video. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. But until then, Please remain safe and always remember that your life is your responsibility. God bless you. I love you.